What's up YouTube, you're Inside the Edge, and I'm back with another video, and we gotta talk about this. Today we're gonna talk about Kanye, we're gonna talk about Drake, um, you know, what's what's next with this whole fume that happened, you know, what's the next step in their careers, and where's what's gonna take off after this Larry Hoover concert? So, you know, if you guys haven't watched it, you guys can go on Amazon Prime if you want to watch that concert. I believe it's about two hours long. Um, it was a great concert. I'm sure those that went enjoyed themselves. I know the tickets was off the, the, off the shelves, man. I mean, them, them tickets was like $7,000. It was insane. But that, you know, that stadium was super packed and a lot of people showed up and uh, we're gonna see. I also want to see the cause for Larry Hoover. I want to see where all this goes. I mean, you know, where's the momentum gonna swing towards? Because, you know, I wasn't there at the concert, but just you know, listening to the songs that the selected choices that Kanye played throughout just the whole service and so was Drake. A lot of the songs was meaningful and it did have it had, did have like his impactful songs. Like Kanye definitely went throwback. A lot of us thought that he would go with the Donda album to you know, have this concert, but Kanye went throwback for the most part. You know, he came out the entrance with Drake with Praise God, and that's pretty much what we kind of got from the album. And, you know, also Drake performed 24 Hours from from Kanye's album, which was really good. I loved Drake's vocals on that. I think we should get a version of that. <laughs> I think a lot of people would really enjoy. But with Larry Hoover, I think from me watching the concert, I think it should have been more about Larry Hoover. I think his son should have came out and maybe spoke a little bit about the situation and the indictments. Um, to, from what I know, his his father is facing six life sentences and his father's been locked up for over 20 plus years and he's been trying to get his dad out from, you know, for like good behavior and all that kind of, you know, stuff that, um, you know, what things you can do to get out, you know, Larry Hoover, like, if you heard the song, the outro to Jesus Lord, I mean, his his son said it best. You know, his father hasn't called any shots on anyone. You know, he hasn't brought destruction on 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 anyone. You know, I think if Larry Hoover was to get out, it would actually be beneficial. I think it's important for Larry Hoover to get out. I think Larry Hoover, was, if he was to ask me if Larry Hoover gets out, I think Larry Hoover has an impact where if he was to go to Chicago, I think he could stop the momentum of the violence and the shootings that's happening out there. I think Larry Hoover was to be OG, he, and, and, be, and he's a well-respected, you know, well-respected. A lot of people, I don't even know what to call him now because he, 20 years passed by. You know, people live a certain lifestyle, and you, and you can't really, you know, call him a gang member or what. But Larry Hoover, you know, what's being done is, you know, we got we to gotta look into that situation. You know, six life sentences, I mean, what you know, we got to look more into that. But I just wish that this, you know, I think... Kanye could have probably put more light on that, or at least have his son kind of speak a lot about that. But overall, man, you know, let's see where this Larry Hoover um, activism is going to get Kanye, and hopefully is it going to get Larry Hoover out. Um, I do know he went to the Oval Office. I do remember seeing that, and I do know Kanye. He definitely touched up a little bit on Larry Hoover. There's infinite amounts of universe, and there's alternate universe. So it's very important for me to get Hoover out because in an alternate universe, I am him. And I have to go and get him free because he was doing positive inside of Chicago. You know, him and Trump at the time had like a private dinner, a private lunch. And I think that's where he talked more about Larry Hoover with, with Trump. But um, obviously Trump is not in office. So it's just a lot of entanglement now at this point. But overall, man, it's good to just see Kanye happy. Um, you know, him and Drake, um, you know, them squashing their beef. Um, Prince, shout out to Prince. I mean, this was a guy that's been trying to um, de-escalate every situation. I believe uh, there was reports saying that Drake actually had a career-ending diss track to Kanye back in 2018, but Prince was the guy that kind of, you know, told Drake like, "Yo, don't put out this diss track." So who knows? It, who knows? It probably would have been about Kim. It probably would have been something like, yeah, it would have been just something ugly. But um, you know, as of right now, man, you know, Drake and Kanye, what's next? You know, we've seen the performance, you know, they came together to, we've seen two icons come together, you know, and now, you know, what's next? And I, for me, I would say our album has to come from this, um, for the longest time, this was overdue, you know, because of the fume for the last past, you know, four or five years with Drake, I mean, Kanye and, and Drake should have been made more music together. You know, I think, you know, they obviously did blessings together. That was a good track. 
Um, I know Kanye, even though this is a while back, but even that song Forever, that song is still fire to this day, which was pretty cool to see Kanye and Drake perform that, man. It just brought back so much memories. But when they make music together, I think they can really collab and make some great stuff. It, it just sucks when you see people beef. It's almost like, you know, Chris Brown and when Drake was beefing for all those years. I mean, if they weren't beefing, they would have gave us more of those, you know, no guidance. You know what I'm saying? We would have got more hit records and stuff. So... You know, it's it's just good to see Kanye and Drake coming together. But um, yeah, like I said, this album has to come just because I know Kanye before the beef. I know Kanye back in twenty, I believe twenty sixteen on the Breakfast Club, the first Breakfast Club interview, he talked about Drake and doing a collab where they wanted to do a project called Wolves. Y'all want? I'm just going ahead and say it. Where the Wolf song came from? Mm. The Wolf song. I'm just going ahead and say it and. And because maybe this will promote it happening. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and put it out in the real world. Mm. The Wolf song came from a conversation that me and Drake had where we was going to do an album together. Mm. And the album is called Wolves. Because Kanye and, you know, Jay, they, they like brothers, you know, Kanye was kind of dancing around the idea. You know, he just, it was like the little brother that didn't want to get in trouble. You know, he didn't want to betray you know, uh, Jay. So that's why that album never really pursued. And then everything that stirred up with Pusha T, it just seemed like that's when everything with, with Kanye and Drake started, you know, fuming and stuff. And then we just never got the project. So, you know, as of right now, you know, let's see where it goes. I mean, I would have thought that Drake would have, what would have been cool, what I've seen from last, well, the performance concert it is, it would have been cool to see Drake, you know, do more songs well, I wish he would have did the songs on the Down the album. Like, if Drake did some other songs, like, I know 24 Hours was good, the vocals was good, but if he was to do some more singing on Spirit Alive or Remote Control, that would have been cool. I think that would have been cool if Kanye was to do that. But let's see what, what, what you know, happens because Drake lately has been making a lot of God references in his music, and I know Kanye is going down that godly route. So... You know, maybe we might hear something from them in the future, man. Um, it's up to you guys. I want to, you know, hear your guys' opinion on, you know, what type of project do you think will, will Kanye and Drake make? Would it be a gospel track? You know, like, how do you think Kanye would utilize Drake and his vocals? I mean, just look at what we've seen with Kanye, what he did with, you know, The Weeknd on Hurricane. Just imagine what Kanye would do with Drake vocals, you know? So... I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen next from this concert because it just sparked just just it just sparked a beef now that everything is all good. Now it's kinda like we can move on from this and now we could just you know get to the music side, you know. So let's just see what happens. And I wanna hear your guys' opinion. I'm kinda like stretching out this video, but um <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys have your opinions and uh, you know, drop a comment below, man. Tell me what you guys think about, you know, Kanye and Drake. Do you think they're gonna make another record? Um, you think this whole Wolves thing is going to happen? Do you think the subject matter is going to be gospel? Because if you ask me, I think Kanye and Drake, I think if they were to make an album, I think it's, it is going to go that gospel route. If you ask me, you know, it might be about, I think the content is going to be about living life, you know, being high on life, being blessed, being thankful, being being thankful for your family. Like, we're going to see a lot of positivity from Kanye and Drake. They're positive people. They're family men. And I think that's what we're going to get. But, uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Have a good day. See you guys on my next video. God bless. Take care of yourselves. And have a good one, guys. Peace.